What's up guys, Peter Ani here. Do you want to know how to create our first VR app for Google Cardboard? In this video, I will show you how we are going to create our first VR app in 11 minutes. That will be able to control the camera in VR, we are going to be able to rotate and interact with the cube. Okay, the cube we are going to spin in different directions. It's very simple, 11 minutes take us to do that. So, let's begin. So first, we will have to download the unit package for VR. So here I have it. I'll leave the link on the description. So here I have it. I click Release Pages. And I will use the, the last version. So 1.1, 1. 1. 1. whatever, yeah, this one. And so once you download it, you click Download. I already have it, so I won't download again. Once you download the unit package for uh, the VR unit package, Let's create our project. So it will be a 3D project and we'll, let's name it a VR Cardboard, let's say test. I like tests. All right, so let's create a project. So now we have the project open. Um, we have to do a few things before we start um, creating things for VR. We have to first switch the platform to Android so let's wait now it's done here you can see we switch to, to android and we need to come to player settings and we have to change a few things here first i'm going to change this because i don't like it um uh, abc we go to other settings and here we have to do a few things um first i'm just going to do this when we um deploy the the on the phone, you know, so I'm just gonna change this. Okay, and so first, the minimum API we need a 4.4. Okay, so if you leave 4.1, one won't work, we'll give her an error. So I always rem uh, remember to change this to 4.4, is the minimum. And here, another thing I want to do is um, TV compile this thing, uh, just uncheck it, whatever. Uh, now XR settings. This is the main thing. So virtual reality supported. Check this and add our cardboard. Perfect. That's it. That's the only thing you have to do. Now we are ready to start. Actually, there's one more thing. We have to import the packaging. So we come here assets, import package, custom package. The package we downloaded. You see the 1.130.1. Yeah, and open. So once uh, you get this screen here, so I just want to uncheck a few things um, as we're not going to do for Android and this ADC because my computer is 64 bits, so just I uncheck it. So uncheck those. Uh, we have Android here and import. Okay, once it's imported, you can see we have here this folder uh, at the bottom here, Google VR, but um, I just want to organize a uh, few things so I like to pull like my data so I put we'll put this in inside my data because it keeps more uh, tidy so just gonna rename to zero one to make it easier okay so now we have everything organized now we are ready to start um, creating our app okay okay first what we need for uh, to start with VR is one thing here GVR editor emulator. So just drag to the scene. Once you do this, you can see here camera controls. You have the controls for VR. You if I hit play, and if I hold out, I can move left and right the camera. And if I hold control, you see. So these are the controls for VR. So first step, yeah, this is done. Good, good. So now um, as we want to create our first app, let's add a cube here, 3D cube, and I have a values like 20, 20 on X, 20 on Z axis, and just uh, minus uh, minus 0.5. Yeah. So we have our floor here. Now we'll have to create our player because if I press play here, you see our camera here is on the top. You can see the camera can see. The uh, you can see the floor. But if I hit play, you see our camera is going to move to the middle. You see, and then we cannot see anything. And okay, so for this we need to create a player. 
So we just create an empty um, game object. I rename to player. Oh jeez. <laughs> I rename to player. And okay, just make sure the position everything is zero. The same the camera as well. Just reset everything to zero. And put the camera inside the player. So now we move the player. And if we hit play, look, now it doesn't reset to zero anymore. So now it's perfect. Yeah. We can um, start creating our, our player, our character. This is good. So now we need to add two things to our player. First, to the main camera, let's add um, this uh, GVR pointer physics raycaster. I'll explain one second. And we also need this thing called uh, so the reticle pointer reticle pointer you need here this GVR reticle pointer so we add to the camera as well so you see you have this now so what that does is um, I'm just gonna change the, the color here for you guys to see better and so we have the main camera here so what that does this add this point in the middle of the camera, you can see like a red dot in the middle of the camera here, and that's what it does. And now we'll be able to interact with objects. So if you have a ball, we can grab the ball, and whatever a cube. Then this in this video, we're gonna add a cube and make it rotate. So we're gonna use this to make change the rotation. So is it good? Let's add the cube now. Um, go create to the 3D object, sorry, and I'm just gonna put the cube here for uh, just to look better. I'll add materials there. Create folder, mm, materials. Um, let's add two materials here one for the floor and one for the box. I'll call this box and let's create another one called floor. And let's call grass. Oh, geez. So that's called grass. And let's see here. Let's give it a color. Let's give it to the floor and the box. Let's give it some like, kind of like a boss, box color. Maybe this is like, like a box. Yeah, perfect. So now if you see in our scene, we have the floor and the box here. So now we want to make this rotate and be able to interact with this. Um, box because at the moment if you see we cannot interact the this reticle pointer is still inactive we it's very easy we just need to add event system this GVR event system we need this to interact with the uh, things in the in the scene so what I'm gonna do yeah so we need this uh, event system GVR event system we also need uh, in the cube we need to uh, event a trigger I think it's even trigger yeah we need to add this even trigger so now you see when I hit play I'll be able to interact with the cube the cube look if you see see now the this dot expand to a circle now see now we'll be able to interact but we have no we don't have any script or anything so it's not gonna do anything but now we'll be able to interact with the cube with the object Great, 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 great. Now the most excited part of the video. We will create our script. Okay, so create a folder, scripts, just for better organization. So we create a C-sharp script, I'll call a rotate cube or box or whatever you want to call. And let's open. Great. Once we have the script open, let's start adding this the code. So first we need a public float. Let's call it spin force. Force. Don't need to be public, but I'm just gonna put public because it's gonna be easy to if you want to change the values. So here in update we just transform dot rotate. Uh, and here is very simple actually. Zero and here first value is x value 0, y, we will add the spin force times time, time, dot, dot, time. 
and zero. Yeah. Save the script. We add the script to our cube. Ah, uh, jeez. Let's just add the script here. Just let give it a force of 45, and I'll call this. This is a name. I want to call it box. Okay. And okay. Let's hit play. And if you see, our cube is rotating, Perfect. but we can't interact. Okay, that's good, but now we show how to interact with the cube. Let's go back to the script. And here, I'll create a public void um, chain spin method called chain spin. And here, simply, I'm going to um, spin force equals minus spin force. That's it. It's the only thing I have to do. Save. Go back to Unity, and now this is a trick. You see, we added the event trigger here, add a new event, and pointer click. Yeah, so when we click and add here, drag our box to here, we rotate cube, cube our script, and chain spin the method we created. That's it. Hit play. Great. So if we click, now our cube is rotating in a different direction. That's it, guys. Very simple, easy. You see, this is very simple. I'll move my character here a little bit. Uh, maximize and play. And now we can see our cube is rotating. We can interact with the cube. We have the nice floor with the grass, the box rotating, everything. You can see everywhere. Look at the moon. <laughs> and yeah, it's very simple. If you want to just... Um, Test on your phone, you just connect the, with the US cable on your computer and press uh, Ctrl B and just, uh, and then just test on your phone. This is, this is cool. Our first app, let's say, it took about 10 15 minutes to do it. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. I want to start bringing more um, tutorials like this about VR. Uh, I want to bring a tutorial about the teleporting, how to teleport your character, your player, how to walk, uh, interact with another kind of objects, change color of objects, grab, and it's very fun and very kind of, it's, it's tricky, but it's easy at the same time. Not that complicated, but it's a little bit tricky. But I'm sure it's like very fun when you show to your friends uh, the apps you're creating, especially VR, uh, it's amazing. So if you like it, please subscribe, like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.